Welcome back, Chargers. It is Friday, April 8th, 2016. I'm Sarah Asmussen. And I'm Lizette Mosqueda, bringing you news on... Volunteer and community service opportunities. UCSB announcement. And more. Let's give a round of applause for Friday. And because... DP, DP News starts now! <laughs> Awesome DP team of Conrad Kuklinski, Dustin Oaks, Maya Reese, and Catherine Wong recently won the Southern California Economics Challenge at the Los Angeles branch of the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco. The top five teams met for finals on Tuesday morning after three rounds of microeconomics, macroeconomics, and international trade consisting of 135 questions. DP and the second place team were separated by the value of one half of a question. The third place team was also close. Fortunately, in the final quiz bowl round, our students dominated. This victory marks DP's 11th championship in the last 15 years. It was a great team effort. The way these four students worked together was remarkable and their victory qualifies them to move on to the national semifinals to be held on April 26th. Now here's Ashley with our winning team. Thanks guys, I'm Ashley and I'm here with some of the winners from the National Economic Challenge. Um, this is Conrad Kuklinski and Catherine Wong and Maya Reese. Okay, so what, um, can you tell me how the competition was this past weekend? Um, it went well. We had some individual tests and then the quiz bowl, which is kind of like Jeopardy, you buzz in and you answer a question. Um, and we won, so I'm excited about that. Nice. And since you guys won, where do you guys advance to? Um, the next portion is a written test, which we take here at DP, and it's proctored. And in order to move to New York, we have to get top four in the nation. Nice. And if other students are interested, where can they go? They should talk to Mr. Lewin and hopefully sign up for econ next year. Great. I wish you guys all the best of luck in your next competition. Now back to Lizette and Sarah. Congratulations, guys. We wish you the best of luck at the semifinals. Volunteers are needed for La Patera Elementary School upcoming fundraiser at High Sierra Grill and Bar on Wednesday, April, 20, April 13th from 4 to 9 p.m. Come and join the fun while earning community service hours. Volunteer tasks include face painting, balloon creating, supervising children while they play games, and keeping them in line. All supplies will be provided, and if you're interested, please visit the Career Center to receive Elizabeth Lara's contact information. But if Wednesdays are one of your busier days, it is possible to turn up to 100 community service hours while having a blast at summer camp. Back by popular demand, Peer Buddies has partnered with Ealings Park to form an inclusive summer camp. You will be paired up with your own buddy with special needs to help them have a blast at a fun-filled summer camp. For more information, you can either call them or email them at info at peerbuddies.com or fill out an application at www.peerbuddies.com. From there, click Programs, Inclusion Camp, Peer Buddies, Enroll. The enrollment deadline is June 1st, so be sure to sign up and get ready for a summer of fun. If you're thinking of attending SBCC or another community college after high school, UCSB is excited to bring the Transfer Making It Happen program back to Dos Pueblos. TMIH is a comprehensive program designed to help high school seniors prepare to first attend a community college and then transfer on to a four-year college or university to earn a bachelor's degree. The resources and benefits of transferring to a four-year university are explained in multiple sessions. The first with parents and students, the second only with students, and lastly, individual connections once the student is enrolled at a community college. The TMIH program is offered through the UCSB Office of Admissions and provides information on UC, CSU, and private school transfer options. Students are required to attend both sessions on their high school campus. The parent and student session will be held on Wednesday, April 20th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the Ealings Performing Arts Center. And the student-only session will be held on Thursday, April 21st from 11.24 a.m. to 12.54 p.m. in the classroom H30. 
Speaking of SBCC, sign-ups for SBCC dual enrollment for summer classes registration is coming up soon. April 29th is the first day students can sign up, which makes this the time to, for students to be taking, talking to their counselor about getting signed up for any classes they might want to make over the summer. This week was committed week, and that means committed Instagram contest. Post the picture of the day on your Instagram account and hashtag hashtag CC16 to win. Your profile must be public or you must add at Cata committed for your entry to count. Today's picture is of what inspires you to be committed and staying drug and alcohol free. Post for the chance to win cool prizes. Seniors, remember that there is an assembly today for us during fourth period. Make sure to head straight into the EPAC right after third. This is, this, is not, this is not an assembly you want to be late for. The DP Theater Company will be presenting its annual spring musical, The Grand Duchy, on Friday, April 15th, Saturday, April 16th, Thursday, April 21st, and Sunday, April 24th. You can get your tickets online at dptheatercompany.org or at the EPAC box office after school. Now here's a video of our very own Sophia Ross giving an outstanding performance from the show. Way to go, Soph. Now here's Mr. Woodard with an announcement on standardized testing. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. It's Mr. Woodard here to give you an overview of this spring's testing schedule. The good news is that compared to years past, there's a lot less testing, um, but the testing, of course, is more important than ever because there are fewer. So let's walk through uh, each grade level. So ninth grade, there are no official standardized tests to take in ninth grade. In 10th grade, all 10th graders will be taking the CST Life Science exam sometime during the week of April 25th through 29th. Those that have a science class will take the life science test with their science class. Those that are not currently taking a life, a life science or physical science class, but are 10th graders, will be pulled out to test in the cafeteria with yours truly. Uh, we're going to do that on April 27th. Look for a call slip from my office soon. 11th graders, as we've already gone into 11th grade classes to talk to you, uh, the Smarter Balance exams will be taking place uh, during the window of April 20th uh, through really the end of the school year. You'll be taking the English portion with your English teacher, uh, and you'll be taking the math portion with your math teacher. Uh, your teachers have the exact dates and times that you'll be testing and will do their very best to prepare you as best you can for these very important tests that are really more meaningful for students than they ever have been before. If you do not have a current math class, we will be uh, giving you a call set to talk to you about the place and time for you to take the math exam. 12th graders, of course, there is no testing for 12th graders, uh, except for, for all of us, the AP and IB testing that will take place during uh, the first part of May. Uh, we have more students signed up than ever before for AP exams, that's awesome. So look for information about where and when to show up. Soon, there's already information on the website and on NEO about testing times, uh, and we'll get the locations to you as soon as we can. Uh, it's really important that you guys do your very best on all these exams uh, to make yourselves, uh, your school, uh, and your DP community do look the very best we can. Thank you. Happy Friday, DP. I'm Doc Flannery. And I'm Jeffrey Chow, here with your sports report. On Tuesday, our baseball team had a doubleheader against Oxnard. In wow. the first game, our boys faced the end of their 10-game win streak, with Oxnard beating them 11-7. Even though taking a loss in the first game and ending their streak, our boys showed Oxnard who's boss in the second game, beating them 8-2. Kevin Barker took the mound and pitched nine innings and struck out three batters and surrendered two runs. Dustin Demeter went 2-3 and three with a double and a walk. Peter Apple went 1-3 with a double and two runs batted in. And Colter Nisbet went 2-3 with a double. Their next game is at home today against Ventura at 3:15. On Tuesday, our golf team faced against Chaminade at Sandpiper Golf Course. 
Our boys beat Chaminade with a low score of 410 to 432. Andreas Fairbairn shot a tournament low of 79. And yesterday, our boys had a league match against SM at Glen Annie. Yeah. Our boys lost in a close match of 372 to 370. Again, Andrew Fairbairn led it, the boys with one under par 70. Our volleyball team had one of the biggest games of the season against crosstown rival San Marcos in our gym on Tuesday. We dominated the Royals in three straight sets of 25-15, 25-22, and 25-22. Our boys dominated the Royals with Eli, I'm going to Stanford, Wolpat ended with 21 kills, one block, and one ace. Adam, X royal Shields, ended with six kills and one block. And Parker, homeboy Crossland, ended with 17 digs and one ace. Our boys are now 3-1 and one in league. Both of our lacrosse teams face San Marcos on Tuesday night. The boys traveled away to the Royals field and played hard. However, the Royals came out on top with a 15-6 score. Their next game is Saturday, no, here, tonight, at 7. On the flip side, the girls stayed on and played on our field against the Royals. Our girls played hard and came out on top, beating the Royals 14-9. And they had an amazing scoring from Becca Baxis and Jamie Sharp, who both scored five goals and nine amazing saves from goalie Carly Schwann. And on Thursday... Our girls face Santa Barbara in our fields too. And yesterday, yeah. in an evenly matched game against Santa Barbara, our girls beat the Dons 11-9 and became undefeated in the city of Santa Barbara, earning the title City Champions. And they're 8-2 in their first official CIF season. Yesterday, our tennis team played against San Marcos. Although playing hard, our boys lost a close match of 8-10. to Their next game is today on our courts at 3. Two of our track and field runners, Hunter Clark and Christina Rice, have qualified and tra are traveling to compete at the Arcadia Invitational Track and Field Meet. Good luck to both of you. Our softball team has a huge league match against Ventura today. Last Saturday, both DP Winter Percussion and Color Guard achieved success in their recent competition in Bakersfield. Our drumline took first in their senior division... Division A with a, their show Mirror Mirror and our color guard took second in division, Senior Division AAA and the letter f with their show titled Letters Across the Sea. Congrats to both the groups. And that's all for your sports report today. Have a fun and safe weekend. Now over to yeah. Ann with your current events. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. According to CBS, the FBI has declared that they will help local law enforcement departments in cases which Apple iPhones seem to be unlocked to provide evidence. This announcement came in less than a week after the FBI unlocked the iPhone used by San Bernardino shooter Zayed Farouk. While the Department of Justice stopped its attempt to legally bring Apple to unlock the iPhone, a third of the party was able to provide a successful method, of which the FBI now owns the propriety rights to. That's all for today, Chargers. I'm Aaron Bailey. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend. Rich, itch. 
dust went against my grain. Now I'll admit this is a sudden switch, but I Tonight I'll guarantee